Four Foodies Pumpkin Nail is a collaboration between Old Chicago's left-hand brewing company, Savory Spice Shop and Gorilla Farms. And the concept was brought to us by Old Chicago's. They asked us for a, a special beer to be part of their Halloween tour and uh, requested that it be a pumpkin beer. And it was a great opportunity for us to work with some local purveyors of fine foods to, uh, to make this beer. We at Old Chicago do a lot of collaborations with a lot of great breweries. We feel very privileged and, and uh, it's a very special opportunity to get to work with some of the great breweries in, in this market and in other areas also. Um, Left Hand is uh, someone who um, we've always worked closely with. Everything from introducing, introducing uh, Nitro Milk Stout on all of our draft handles early on uh, to carrying a lot of their different beers, so we've always wanted to do a collaboration of some kind. Well, Ro contacted me about the pumpkin beer. Um, so that was late last fall or early this winter and kind of floated the idea and asked if it was something that I thought I'd be able to come through with and I was interested right from the get-go. So this allowed us to use a locally sourced pumpkin variety that uh, really provided a, a real kick and, and flavor. And I think you can really taste the pumpkin coming through in the beer. Well, the variety we chose, um, after talking with Ro, I mean, he said he wanted, you know, a good tasting pumpkin or uh, something with high sugar content for the brewing process. So we settled on a pie pumpkin variety called Baby Pam, and that was uh, sort of one of the staff picks through my seed company that they recommended this one for for eating, baking. So I figured it would translate into the brewing. When we were there at the farm, you know, I had this big bag of spices, kind of just dumped them out all over the table, and we started looking through them. We, you know, we eliminated some things pretty quickly that, you know, I thought, well, let me, let me make sure that I bring the full range of flavor. Uh, when we think about, you know, fall and winter and some of these heavier beers and richer beers, and uh, immediately he was drawn to the kubeb berries from Indonesia, which have kind of an allspice and nutmeg flavor and aroma to them with an interesting kind of earthy, peppery finish. And I, I brought a uh, galangal root, uh, which is a cousin to turmeric and ginger. And kind of that, you know, the spiciness that you appreciate from ginger, but a little more earthbound, a little more earth tones to it. And uh, Roe was immediately drawn to those and thought, you know, okay, well, this is unusual. This is definitely different. You ever harvested a thousand pounds of pumpkins? It's a lot of, a lot of work. <laughs> Early September, Ro came out to the farm and we harvested about a thousand pounds of pumpkins, loaded them into the left-hand van, and we drove them down to Old Chicago's test kitchen. So these pumpkins got a lot of love. They had to be hand washed, then um, dried, then we had to cut them and we had to roast them. So then we had to roast down um, and caramelize the pumpkins. The pumpkins showed up and, and um, the truck pulled into our parking lot the bed opened up and you just got this punch in the face of this roasted pumpkin uh, smell. Can you imagine a thousand pounds of pumpkins that are roasted, caramelized, uh, pretty overpowering, and those went straight into the mash at that point. Pumpkins going in and malts going in and spices going in and then it all kind of coming back, you know, this olfactory explosion was just way cool. People, especially in Colorado, you know, we are the Napa Valley of microbreweries, of course, and people want to go into a tap room, they want to see something new, they want to know that the brewmaster is being creative. What drives me and what, what I find really fun is to be around people that are passionate and you know being around Timson and Dan and Mark Newman, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just great to, to, to be with people that, that love flavor and love life. 